Hey guys and welcome to Ours the Scale. So U.com is slowly becoming one of my favorite AI writing tools and they've just had a major update with their U.com assistance, which means that at 15 bucks per month you can have unlimited agents or assistants with various models. And in this video I'll be showing three of my favorite prompts turned assistants and how I'm using them to get better at SEO and ranking. Before I do, these are the results of the recent poll. You guys voted for the giveaway that you want the most. Most. My exclusive ChatGPT prompts library won. So under this video you'll see a link which you can use to get access to my ChatGPT library that looks like this. These are all custom made, some of my favorite prompts from my videos. And whenever I'm using a prompt in a video, it will appear here. Not only that, once you sign up for the ChatGPT prompts, you also get access to my new and improved Wars Scale newsletter, where I'm sharing personal struggles, uh, big or small wins. I'm sharing exclusive content that I won't be revealing on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe to ChatGPT library to get access to the newsletter as well. And all the links are going to be in the description down below. Using assistance is very easy in U.com. You just go to more, then you go to add new. You choose whichever model you want and you can change this later. You name your assistant and you give it a prompt. There are lots of examples uh, provided by U.com and they gravitate towards shorter prompts, which I'm a big fan of because I do think they work the best. And then you can either choose to have live websites on or off or include personalization. And this is another feature that is re reminiscent of ChatGPT. Uh, if you go to personalization, you can store different information about yourself, your preferences and whatnot. And you can either have this on or off and you can also enable smart learning, which is uh, basically allowing you.com to learn from your chats. So my first assistant is called a readability booster. And since there is a character limitation as far as naming, what I ended up doing is I choose a name that is catchy and I know for sure what, what it refers to and then I'm using the first uh, one or two letters of the model that I'm using. So this readability booster assistant using O which stands for Opus and uh, the way it works is as follows. Uh, I have a ChatGPT generated uh, essay on ethical considerations regarding gene engineering. Uh, let's check with Hemingway and this is using complex terms and this is a postgraduate readability level. So let me fire up my Readability Booster. And this prompt is in my ChatGPT library under Readability Booster. So once again, you just go Add New, Readability Booster, then you paste in the prompt from the, from the ChatGPT library. You choose the model. I chose Cloud3 Opus. You just uh, click Create. And then you will have uh, this assistance as well as different ChatGPT models in here. And the way the Readability Booster works is that uh, whatever text you paste will be transformed into a more readable piece of content. So let me paste in the essay, which is again a postgraduate readability level to begin with. And you can change the source prompt. And right now it's targeted at a uh, readability level of those between 9 to 12 years old. So this will be essentially a pretty dumped down version and uh, the way the prompt works um, it works better with shorter pieces of text so I would use it to rewrite paragraph by paragraph as opposed to just inserting the whole article and since I have web access ready u.com is actually providing references and double checking the facts in the initial essay which is good so let me copy this over to Hemingway so it used to be post graded and now it's uh, of grade 5 readability and actually let me check the word counts so the original word count was 578 and now it's 529 so it pretty much retains the original workout which is great. So the second prompt I want to share is called the sequence prompt. I've used it a lot of times on this YouTube channel. This is one of the uh, better prompts that I've ever come up with and it allows you to create five, six, seven thousand word articles, uh, giant listicles and the way it works it basically creates 10 separate questions and writes 10 separate articles and then it glues everything together giving you one giant one and with this assistant I'm using the command R model which gives you the longest output and what you have to do, you just uh, have to insert the keyword, how to mine crypto at home, and u.com and command R is going to do the rest. And the assistant has this sequence prompt uh, running in the background as a template. So it first created the 10 popular questions regarding the seed keywords, and then it just goes step one, step two, step three essentially writing a 500 word article for each of these questions. And sometimes you need to generate a couple of times 
for this prompt to complete the whole sequence. And command R usually only requires one additional generation, as opposed to say GPT-4, which uh, often ends up requiring five, six, seven generations. So we are already at step five, which is question number four. And once again, the uh, web access is enabled, so this is all factual. Step seven, which is article number six. What are the best crypto mining software for home use? Let's double check, yes. What are the best crypto mining software for home use? Okay. And uh, we need one additional generation, but I'll just copy everything except for the questions to see the word count we ended up having. So this is the word counter, and this is almost 4,000 words, which is great for a one-click prompt. So this is use case number two. And finally, one of the favorite ones of all is the one-click SEO generation. So the target keyword is does the utility writer pass AI detection? And in this instance, I'll be using the uh, initial prompt. So in my ChatGPT library, it's under the one-click SEO prompt. And this prompt uses the outline from NeuronWriter, the LSI keywords from NeuronWriter, and the links from the links.txt file I have ready. The only problem with this prompt so far has been that if I try to impose a specific writing style, it would mess up the prompt because it's uh, it was getting uh, way too long. But now I have a custom assistant called uh, Brand voice. I'm using Opus, and everything that it writes, it writes in my preferred brand voice. So all I have to do is paste in the prompt using Markdown formatting, bullet words, list and tables. Write a 2,000 word article. This is the outline. These are the LSA keywords. All I have to do is insert the links.txt file. This one here, and this is going to write uh, the whole SEO optimized article based on my preferred brand voice, and we will check the readability as well. This is going to be using emojis. We already got in our first internal link. Additional internal links at the start. Great. Nice list. Nice looking table. And this is a one click generation prompt. Once again, this works best for programmatic SEO and shorter articles since the search intent is uh, very narrow, so to speak. Uh, this doesn't require a robust article to answer it. So we've got a lot of links here. Let me open up Markdown to HTML. Conclusion. And the readability is a uh, pretty good grade 10, only 600 words. And yeah, so once again, go check out my ChatGPT prompts library. It used to be a paid product, now it's free. You also get uh, access to my weekly newsletter where I share my personal insights, my wins, losses, struggles, and I provide exclusive video content as well, all for free. Hope this video is helpful. I love you guys, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.